10, 9, 8, 7, You may hear some six, noise in the... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We're in stage And we're flying. Indication. We have liftoff. SpaceX Falcon uh -oh. 1 launch vehicle. Falcon has cleared the tower. Plus 12. Pitch kick. Plus 20 seconds. Are they, are they here? Vehicle navigation nav nominal in gravity turn. Oh, we have that. Power systems nominal. T plus 60 seconds. Got max Q. Vehicle. First stage propulsion performance is nominal. Vehicle has a velocity of 630 meters per second. You can and see an the plume of, of the vehicle, kilometers. the plume of the engine expanding as we get into more rarefied atmosphere. It also gets blacker as there's less and less at oxygen to support post-combustion. Vehicle has a current velocity of 1,000 meters per second and altitude of 32 kilometers. T plus two minutes. Vehicle is down, has an altitude of 50 kilometers, a velocity of 1,700 meters per second. We are approaching main engine cutoff. There will be a five second delay before stage separation. Second stage sank stable. Pico. Ah, stage separation confirmed. And Kestrel ignition. Perfect. Second stage of Capture maneuver. You can hear there the cheers the in the background. Stiffening vans. There's about 500 people here. You can see the limb of the earth in the upper left side of the screen. We have a relative velocity of 2,700 The Kestrel engine will burn for more than six minutes during the ride to orbit. Here we see fairing separation. There goes the fairing. separation confirmed. Second stage propulsion performance is nominal. We're at three minutes and 30 seconds into the flight. We have a relative velocity of 2,800 meters per second and an altitude of 170, 170 kilometers. Second stage guidance is nominal. T plus four minutes. We're at T plus four minutes. We have a relative velocity of approximately 3,000 meters per second and an altitude of 200 kilometers. See the Kestrel nozzle glowing a dull red. It's actually designed to glow almost white hot if necessary. Very steady attitude we're seeing. We're 
at t plus 5 minutes, we have a relative velocity of approximately 3,200 meters per second and an altitude of 253 kilometers. All systems are nominal. About four minutes remaining in the second stage, Vaughan. We're at T plus six minutes. Vehicle velocity is approximately 3,600 meters per second and an altitude of 290 kilometers. The vast majority of the acceleration occurs during this latter half of the second stage burn. As the mass of the vehicle, propellant load decreases. We're at T plus seven minutes. We have a relative velocity of 4,200 meters per second and an altitude of 315 kilometers. We're going to lose stage one in telemetry. Second stage propulsion is performing nominally. Guidance is performing nominally. We are getting very close to orbital velocity. velocity. 5,200 meters per second and an altitude of 328 kilometers. We uh, appear to have loss of signal. That is not necessarily a bad thing. We were expecting to lose signal sometime around here. It can be highly variable um, depending on the weather conditions at the time. Um, so we, of course, want to see what happens for the next 60 seconds. We were about 60 seconds away from a nominal shutdown. We will be getting back to you just as soon as we have more information. telemetry and video. There's behind us of our employees. Nine minutes, 30 seconds. Second stage approaching SECO. And that would be a nominal SECO. SECO's in form. Which means Falcon 1 has made history as the first privately developed launch vehicle to reach Earth orbit from the ground. That was not <laughs>